Good night, guys. Good night, guys. My name is Luis, Luis Iglesias. Uh, I will be your teacher for this course for four weeks. Uh, don't worry. I will do my best effort in order to help and to I know how important it's learn a new language. In this kind of cases, I know it can open a lot of doors in your house. Uh, if you have any doubt or any question, just let me know. Believe me, there will be a funny class and we will learn a lot. And my main goal will be that all of you uh, can improve a lot your English. Uh, sé que a veces pues nos va a costar un poquito el entenderlo. No tengan miedo, pregunten en ese momento cuando sientan que no le van entendiendo algo, levanten la mano y digan, hey teacher, por favor. ¿Podría re, eh, regresar a tal parte o no entendí esto? Eh, también, si no saben cómo decir algo, pues también aquí vamos a averiguar cómo se dice. Para eso eh, les daré dos formas de cómo preguntar cómo decir algo. Eh, ¿Por qué? Porque a pesar de que estamos un nivel, eh, pues intermedio. Sabemos que nos cuesta a veces poder estructurar las cosas, pero entre más lo practiquemos, mejor seremos. Right now, it's time to make the presentations. I will start. I need that you uh, introduce yourself. I need that you mention your name. What do you do? And let me think about something else more. Where do you live? I need those three things. Hi guys. Again, my name is Luis. Luis Iglesias, but my friends call me Luis. You can call me Luis, teacher or whatever that you want. Uh, right now, and we'll introduce ourselves. I need a volunteer who will be the first one. Uh, me. Thank you. Uh, well, I repeat again the question I asked. Your name, what do you do? What do you do for a living? And where do you live? Okay, uh, good night. My name is David Martinez. I am a student of engineer um, and I am live in Japan. Congrats. You are very brave. You was the first one. I know it. Who will be the second one? Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Uh, good night. My name is Mario Rafael Rivas Rodriguez. I am a mechanical engineer and I live in San Salvador. Nice. We have two engineers, one in yeah. Sepango, another one in Salvador. Remember this? Mm -hmm. Because the topic for today will be about uh, transportation. Well, Next one, who will be the next one? Next volunteer, guys, you can do it. Come on, guys. Okay, any volunteer, okay. It will be big teams. Who will be my next big team? Gilberto. Hi, good night. My name is Gilberto Alexander Valencia. Um, I, I am live in Sonsonate. Uh, Sonsonate. Mm -hmm. I work is um, Thermos Encogible. Nice, nice, very nice. I will help into you a lot, mister. Don't be afraid, you did a great job. Okay, next one. Who will be a volunteer or victim? Volunteers? 
Well, it will be victim. Who will be my next victim? You, Francisco. You will be my next victim. I need that you answer the next questions. I need your name. Where do you live? And what do you do for a living? Francisco, can you hear me? I guess Francisco has technical issues. He will be the next one. But right now I need another volunteer. Who will be a volunteer? Well, victim, the phantom. El fantasma. Can you answer those questions, please? Oh, he's gone. He ran away. Okay, next big thing will be, will be a lady. Ew. Can you answer those questions, please? Okay, hi, good night. My name is Eunice Elizabeth Melendez Abarca. I'm living in San Vicente. I'm a student. Nice. Soy Apango, San Salvador, San Sonate, San Vicente. Three students and one worker. Nice. Who will be the next one? Well, Carlos. Are you there? Come on, Carlos, are you there? Okay. Again, Francisco. Can you answer those questions? Can you tell me your name? Where do you live? And also, where do you live? Where do you do for living? Eh, no sé si me escucha. Sí, te escuchamos. ¿Lo escuchan todos? Okay. Levanten, levanten pulgar si lo escuchan. Te escuchamos, brother. Ok, I'm Francisco García. I live in, in San Marco. I am 31 years old. And what do you do for a living? Um, I work. Where? ¿Dónde? Where? In Imposible. Two. Nice. Ah, both are, are co workers. Imposible. Francisco and Gilberto are, are co workers in the same place? Yes, but different plan. Nice. That's nice. Nice to, nice to hear that. Well, who will be my next big thing? El Fantasma. Can you hear me? Mr. Phantom, can you hear me? Él dice que, bueno, ha escrito en el chat que no puede escuchar nada. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can see that. Thank you. I, uh, thank you very much. I will be more aware about the chat. Don't worry, Mr. and Mrs. Well, who will be my next victim? Jonathan. Are you there, Jonathan? Hugo? Are you there, Hugo? Hi, good night. Good night, Hugo. How are you today? Uh, my name is Hugo Alexander Cruz. Mm -hmm. I, work, I work at Text to Feel. Text to Feel, okay, nice. I'm in San Vicente. Two of San Vicente's, two guys in San Vicente. And the last one, Miss Ada, can you answer those questions, please? Good night, teacher. Uh, my name is Ada, Ada Maribu Castillo. 
I live in La Libertad and I, I am a salesperson in a center in San Salvador. Nice guys. Well, it's my turn. Well, my name is Luis Iglesias. I will be your teacher. I got a big goal. My main goal to, for this month is help us a lot in order to improve your English. I will do all my hands in order to help into you. I know, and I can see that you are a great, okay. Let, let me let me do something. I've been Camino and recently what's the name? Carlos. Okay. First. Give me a second, guys. I need to help to our colleague, Mr. Phantom. Okay, right now, Mr. Carlos, uh, what happened? It says, I been Camino in recently, what's the dynamic? Ah, well, let me tell you, Carlos, right now, I am making three questions. What's your name? What do you do, do for a living? And where do you live? because after our presentation, we will talk about transportations. Well, if you can share it with us, we will be more than happy. Well, Carlos, I guess yeah, that you are right now having some technical issues, but don't worry, we understand. Well, we will continue with the class, guys. As I mentioned, my name is Luis Guzman Iglesias. You can call me Luis or Mr. Iglesias or teacher. How do you prefer? It would be great. Um, I am living in Antigua, Cuxatlán. And also, I am a cousin agent too, and my, this is my other job. And right now, I will share with you this. Just give me a second. I need to answer something. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Just give me a second, guys. Just, okay. I have something issue right now with my system. It's a little bit uh, frozen. Just give me a moment. Ah, I have a question for you guys. All of you have a access to your to the platform. Guys, do you have access to the platform? Sí, yo no, teacher. Bueno, hoy recién me estaba conectando y entrando al grupo de WhatsApp, pero tuve problemas con el internet y en la, con la plataforma de trabajo igual entraría hoy después de clase no hay ningún inconveniente eh, solo les pregunto para saber si ya tienen acceso o si tienen algún inconveniente o duda para poder encontrar los tour, los cursos perdón los demás ya in, intentaron ingresar a la plataforma o no, eh, no yo sí ya lo hice 
Perfecto. Cualquier duda o consulta, déjenme saberla y yo con mucho gusto voy a compartir mi pantalla para explicarles cómo acceder a los cursos y cuál es el nombre, el nombre del curso que estaremos viendo. Eh, muy bien, permítame un momento que estoy teniendo una dificultad técnica. Dios, a momento. Perdón, 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 no es esto. Pueden ver mi pantalla, chicos. Can you see my, my screen? Raise your thumb. Yes. Yes, teacher. Okay, just give me, let me verify something. Mr. Mars Fantasma is gone again, okay. As you can see, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary of for talking about transportation. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrated this topic. To beginning, we will see this. Just give me share. Useful for our. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. Hi, yeah. everyone. In this class, you'll learn vocabulary related to transportation. Additionally, we will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's start by listening and repeating. Transportation in the U.S. The top eight ways to get to work. Listen and practice. One, drive. Two, walk. Three, take the bus. Four, take the subway. Five, take the train. Six, ride a bike. Seven, ride a motorcycle. Eight, take a taxi. Take a cab. Now, we want to use the vocabulary that we just learned. So to do that, I will need for you to answer the following well, until here. Right now, we will answer those questions. For that reason, I asking to you guys, where do you live and what do you do for a living? Many of you, many of you said that you are students and other ones are workers. I will, yes, Carlos, do you have a question? Mr. Santos? Hello, teacher. Um, tengo problemas con mi cámara para habilitarla. Ah, no, no te preocupes. O sea, si tú tienes problemas actualmente con tu cámara, puedes desactivarla. Igual, aprecio que los demás lo hayan activado. Eh, si ustedes también tienen problemas o sienten un poco incómodo tener la cámara, pueden desactivarla. Eso sí, pediré participación de ustedes. Eh, señor Fantasma, ¿nos puede escuchar? You are mute. You are the mute. Bueno. Levante el pulgar si nos puedes escuchar. Perfecto. Ok. Let me share. Okay. Sí los escucho. Hoy sí los escucho. Perfect. Uh, right now, 
Let me tell you, Mr. Fantasma, that right now we are talking about transportation. For that reason, I need that you answer the next questions. The first one, I need your name. Second one, where do you live? And third one, uh, what do you do for a living? Señor Fantasma, necesitamos que nos diga su nombre, dónde trabaja y dónde vive. Good night. Uh, my name is uh, Ismael Alfonso Rivera Rivera. Uh, I live in San Salvador. Uh, I work in Termo Incogible. Thank you. I, I appreciate so much that, and thank you so much for sharing with us, Mr. Fantasma. Okay, and then first question is, Who can answer? Who will be the first volunteer? It couldn't be David. David was the first volunteer the last one, the last time. How do you get to work? Repeat after me. How do you get? Oh to work. How? How do you How get to work? Do you get to work? Nice. Do you get to work? How do you get to work? You are doing very well. You are a nice group, guys. You are doing very How? well. Right now, well. I need a volunteer. Who wants to answer that question? Uh, it, it's not a problem, Saul. Right now, you will be out of the participation, but you can write it down. I need that you also, you can participate by chat. You can type in there your answer. And for the students, That is your question. How do you get to university? Okay. Excuse me. Um, the form um, to answer the start. I take the bus. I take. There you go. I take a bus. I take the bus. The bus. Or the bus. Because if you say I take a bus, it's something that doesn't have any sense because you cannot take two bus at the same time or you can do it. It's, it's understandable. I know sometimes it's, it's uh, I feel shame on me, but sometimes I said like that, hey, I take a bus and hey, and let me know. How do you take two buses at the same time? They asked, they asked me to me, and that was a little bit weird, but don't worry, guy. The, uh, the structure will be for the answer, subject, verb, and complement. And also the answer will be like that. I take a bus, but I would like to listen another answers. Jonathan, how I, do you get to the university or to work? Let me know. Uh, to work. Okay, let me know. Uh, I take a motorcycle. Mm, nah, 
Eh, but don't worry, Jonathan. Right now, we will learn a little bit more, a little bit about the transportation that you, we can use to get there. I will share my screen one more time and I will show you the different way that we can go to work or university. Is this. Can you look at my screen? Yes. Okay. This is your answer, Mr. Uh, just give me a second. Mr. David Martinez, Mr. Martinez, this is your answer. Look at that. Right. Right. A motorcycle. Right. A the motorcycle. Idea here is to use the vocabulary. Okay. Right. A motorcycle. Take the subway. Take a bus and take a taxi or cab. Cab. Take, is... take, take se usa como para. Uh -huh. Para decir que uno toma el bus o uno toma el subterráneo o el taxi. Uh -huh. Why take instead drive? Why? ¿Por qué take y no drive? Conduzco. Because, eh, eh, bueno. In El English, <laughs> try to say in English. You can do it. I will help you. Uh, uh -huh. no, no recuerdo cómo se dice uh -huh. el motorista o el... Driver. Ah, okay. Because um, the train on the subway uh, is a driver that uh, could drive a bus or the train. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. It's the difference between a drive and take a bus or take a subway or take a cab is because someone else is driving. You just take, you just sit and says, I need to be um, in super selectos as La Gran Vía. It's an example. You don't have to do anything, but drive, yes, you have to be careful about your left and right side. At the moment to use the brake, change the gear and something like that. And right now, another question. What's the difference between right and right? The car is mechanic and the ride is a movement. Also is mechanic, a motorcycle has an engine, but you are almost, uh, you have the idea. The difference is this, look at the guy on the car, in the car, sorry. Look at the guy in the car. He's in the car, he's inside. Uh, yeah, that's right. What about the guy in the motorcycle? Where is he? On, On the motorcycle. motorcycle. That's right. For the reason, right is different of drive. Okay. The guy that says uh, that you take your uh, motorcycle right now, you have already learned about how to say, how do you get to work? You can say, Repeat after me. I ride my motorcycle. I ride my motorcycle. I ride a motorcycle. I ride, I ride my motorcycle. A motorcycle. To go to work. To go to, to go work. to work. Okay. To go to work. That's right. Okay. Onise, answer the questions. Okay. I ride to go. All right. Eh, Vamos. Yo también lo corresponde la de la universidad. Ajá. Entonces sería, I drive to work. Mm, you drive. Say, yeah. 
Okay, nice. You try mm -hmm. to go to the university. Or yeah. be a, the guys that uh, are studying or are a student right now, repeat after me. I drive. I drive. Right. I drive. To go. To, to go. go. To, to the, the, the university. The university. Right. But what happened with the guys that take the bus? Take the bus. Who take the bus to go to the university? Hey, nice. So, oh. yeah, go ahead. I take the bus to, to go to the uh -huh. university. Okay, nice. Uh, just an advertisement. Right now, Carmen, we are talking about transportation. At the beginning, we have an activity that you have to answer three questions. Right now, I need that you answer those questions. Just give me a second. Carmen, I need that you answer your name. Where do you live? And um, what do you do for a living? Carmen, are you there? Don't worry, take your time. Ok, bueno. Continuando con la clase. Ah, buenas noches. Hi, Carmen. Hi. Eh, muy bien, Carmen. Ahorita estamos hablando sobre los medios de transporte. Para ponerte al día, estamos, hemos pasado por una actividad diciendo cuál es nuestro nombre, dónde trabajamos o qué hacemos para vivir, si en dado caso estudias o trabajas, y dónde vivimos porque lo estamos relacionando con eh, el topic de los medios de transporte. If you can answer those questions in English, it would be great. Si no, it's okay. You can undo it in Spanish. Okay. Uh, let me know where do you live? In in the nice. And where do you work? Um, le digo que es, es comercio informal. ¿Cómo se dice? En... I am a, a business woman. You are a business woman. Ah, oh, okay. I am a business woman. Nice. Okay. Right now, because we already know a little bit about this vocabulary, I will share again. Just give me a second. Okay. Continue. Uh, we already know the difference between drive, write, and take. But what about walk? Who walk to go to work? Or go to university? Who walk? And sometimes I walk to work. Nice. Well, we will continue with the video, guys. Larry, that we just learned. So I would encourage you to make sentences with all the expressions. And also, I would like for you to think about the next question as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? So let me write that question here as well. What are some other kinds of transportation? The last thing. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. But that will be the next one. Can you tell me other kind of transportations? 
kinds of transportation. Yes, guys. Somebody else? Well, yes, go ahead. De que otra manera de transporte. Go ahead, Mr. Cruz. You can do it. I drive to, to work. Mm -hmm. But if you want to go to um, maybe Houston, Texas. Plane. Yeah. Fly. <laughs> Fly. Plane. 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 But this is another way of transportation. What's the name of that? Airport. Um, other example, Seria, I take the moto taxi. Mm -hmm. Moto taxis. Also, airplanes, chips. Bicicleta. Bicycle. And if the, and yes. and if someone is passenger in a motorcycle, he is not driving the most motorcycle, but uh, passenger yeah uh, but in this kind of cases you cannot use i take a motorcycle because you are on the motorcycle if someone is behind you maybe you can say something like that i ride a motorcycle with my brother to go to work or i i went to the hospital with my mom and it was necessary that my mom ride with me, my motorcycle. Teacher. Yeah. I have a question. What is the meaning of chip? Chip. Mm -hmm. Okay, right now. Uh, I will show you. I, I won't tell you, but I will show you. Just give me a second. Uh, maybe some of you watch the movie Battleship. It's a movie where Rihanna was uh, one of the main characters, but this is a ship. Just Barco. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Is it a ship? <laughs> but, but those are different because this is like a cruiser ship but and this is a normal ship ship is like nave because look at this a space ships this is another way of transportation, guys. A spaceship. A spaceship. Okay. I need another example. We already know ships, spaceships. Bicycle. Bicycle. Moto taxis. What else? Drive a horse. Horse, animals. Animals can be a, a method of transportation. As well as if you. Ah, someone stole your your idea. I stole your idea. Okay, what else? What else? In a skate. Yes. A skate. What else? A scooter. Two. Mm -hmm. Walk. Walk. It's another method of transportation. What else, guys? You can do it. Airplane. Airplane. What else? A scooter. Oh, yeah. Remember, guys, a method of transportation, it's whatever stuff that help you to go of this point to this point. The train, train, highway, subway, subway, car, 
What's the meaning of or what's the difference between no. a subway and a train? I need I, I need an answer. What? what? Subway is under the floor. Uh-huh. Yeah. And train? <laughs> okay. What? Over at the floor. Yeah, that's right. Okay, Mr. Fantasma. Let, let me let me explain you a little bit. A difference between a subway, no el pan, sino el, el método de transporte, <laughs> uh, between with the train is the next one. As who said the who said the answer? It was David or it was so me. Okay, as Mr. Alberto says, the subway it's Subterraneo. under under the ground. Under the ground. Subterraneo. Yeah. Yeah. Under the ground. But the train, it's the train is in the ground. Well, guys, those are some examples of that. We will continue watching the video. And after that, uh, mm -hmm. we will show you, we will verify if we can continue with the next topic. Just give me a second. The last thing we're going to do in this class is to practice a conversation which illustrates this lesson and the next couple of lessons as well. Let's listen and practice. Nice car, Jason. Is it yours? No, it's my sister's. She has a new job and she drives to work. Is her job here in the suburbs? No, it's downtown. My parents work downtown, but they don't drive to work. They use public transportation. The bus or the train? The train doesn't stop near our house, so they take the bus. It's really slow. That's too bad. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary and the conversation that we just heard. This conversation along with the vocabulary will be very useful for our next lessons. Okay, guys, that was the video. As we mentioned, and we can see, uh, we can use the many kind of method of transportation in a different way. And also, you can say, for example, you have a nice motorcycle, a nice car. Also, you can set something like that you are using that kind of transportation if that transportation is low or fast. In this kind of cases, what was the slowest transportation that you ha have been taken in your life? El más lento que han usado. Walk. <laughs> Walk. Somebody else? The bus of my town. Así se dice, ¿verdad? El bus de mi pueblo. Uh, yes, my when, bus. When you, the bus of lento. my town. <laughs> yes, somebody else? When you take the bus on Monday or Friday. <laughs> mm, maybe Monday in the morning or yes. Friday at the afternoon. It's too slow. Maybe the guys that has motorcycle doesn't know how you feel being in the bus for more than one hour but submarine that's nice maybe carreta <laughs> okay let me that would be your your homework for tomorrow an extra homework verify or try to know how do you say carreta in english it would be easy Who, the room to work. The room to work when I'm <laughs> The way to work. You can say that. The way to work. El camino que hago el trabajo donde me duermo. Well, we'll continue with the next part. Car, we'll, carreta. 
how? Card. Card. Let me verify. Right now we will discover that. We will learn about that. It's a wagon. It's like that. Also, the word wagon is used in trains. Wagones. Also, you can use it like that. Okay, we will see a little video, Mr. and Mrs. Right now, I will show you this. Just give me a second. I had many tabs open. I need to close some of them. Mm. Okay, we will see right now a little bit about simple present. Before watch the video, who of you do you know the structure of simple present? The person who answered these questions um, won't be a big thing in the next class. Is the subject plus um, verb in present mm -hmm. plus the complement? Well, that's right, Hada. Congrats. You did a great job. That's the answer. You won't be the victim for tomorrow, but you will be the victim for today. Right now, uh, we will watch a little video, it's a little bit short. And after that, we'll make some example. I need one example in affirmative, negative, and questions. First of all, part of the video. Your bike to school is the compliment. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to form simple present statements using regular verbs. Let's get started by practicing the statements that you see on the screen. I walk to school. I don't live far from here. You ride your bike to school. You don't live near here. He works near here. He doesn't work downtown. She takes the bus to work. She doesn't drive to work. We live with our parents. We don't live alone. They use public transportation. They don't need a car. Contractions. Don't equals do not. Doesn't equals does not. The examples illustrate how we can form positive statements and negative. Well, we already learned a little bit about simple present. It's your turn, Ada. Choose a classmate? No, you will be the victim for today, but not <laughs> for tomorrow. Okay. Um... I need an example, a one affirmative example, and sorry, a one affirmative sentence, negative, and one question. Okay. Um... I study English today. Uh, I don't uh, learn uh, the lesson. And I, no, she doesn't cook the dinner. Mm. You already did two of three good, and the last one you failed, but don't worry. This is an aim, a theme that we will discuss for tomorrow. 
but I would like to show you in order that you, if you have a free time for tomorrow, uh, if you can have a little review or try to make a research, it would be great because we will do this activity for tomorrow. But first of all, we will do three example and then the other three and then the other three and we will discuss using the vocabulary that we learned today. For example, I ride my motorcycle to go to the school every day or I ride my motorcycle from Soyapanco to San Vicente. But that will be for tomorrow. Ahora bien, guys, ya que falta poco para que termine la clase, eh, les pregunto, si hay alguna pregunta o duda al respecto sobre la plataforma, sobre la clase. Si ustedes no entienden algo, solo díganme. Yo intentaré explicárselo lo mejor posible. Eh, igual procuraré que la clase sea lo más suave posible también y que nos divertamos todos porque sé que a esta hora muchos de ustedes gustarían estar durmiendo mm, y si tienen problemas con la cámara no duden en apagarla solo avísenme pero por favor necesito que estén a ustedes participando y si tienen problemas así como Saúl que está enfermo de la garganta o tienen problemas con su micrófono ocuparemos el chat pero necesitamos que por favor pues participen una de mis metas es que ustedes pues puedan incrementar su inglés cuanto más puedan porque se nota que ustedes son un excelente grupo lo van a hacer muy luego y van poder, pues a tener muchas puertas que se les abrirán debido a eso pero sí es necesario que participemos. Entre más participemos, entre más hagamos las tareas, eh, más beneficioso será. Y eso hice yo y pues la verdad me ayudó mucho. Y pues eso. ¿Dudas o preguntas o consultas, señores? Eh, yo sí tengo una... Bueno, una pregunta dentro de la plataforma. Uh -huh. eh, en la plataforma que anteriormente eh, estudiamos ¿no? uh -huh. eh, se hacían prácticamente creo que eran tres lecciones eh, por día sí entonces y con esta plataforma eh, hay un por decir hay, hay como una agenda para este cuántas clases este puedo realizar obviamente se puede avanzar este, pero eh, no sé si hay eh, una agenda para cuántas clases se puedan hacer en el día. Eh, muy bien. Realmente la agenda que se nos ha dado es que nosotros cubramos al menos la primera semana la, pues, la, la lección 1 y 2. La primera semana. La verdad que yo este día he decidido pues no saturarlos porque quería conocerlos, quería verle los rostros. Quería saber pues a qué se dedican y así pues ir haciendo un schedule para ver cómo les brindo la clase de una forma más suave o más intensa. Eh, como les dije, mi meta es enseñarles todo lo que pueda ayudarles a ustedes en lo que se pueda para incrementar su idioma inglés a responder a su pregunta. Si tú tienes la disponibilidad de que puedes hacer más de tres, hazlo. Si tú no puedes hacer las tres, no hay problema. Solo recuerda algo, que entre más lo practiques, entre más la metas, más rápido vas a avanzar. Y entre más uno avance, más puertas se te abrirán. Si tú estás estudiando este curso para poder eh, pues tener una mejor oportunidad de trabajo, practicando lo harás. Si estás estudiando para poder mejorar tus clases en las materias de inglés de la universidad, pues es, entre más lo practiques, más lo lograrás. Eh, el que pesa de ver alcanza así es que sí, eso yo, es yo, yo sí. preguntaba porque como en la otra plataforma digamos que me tocaban tres clases por, por día pero uh -huh. a veces por algo de razón a veces por mis turnos y todo eso 
Entonces, este, a veces pasaba hasta dos o tres días que no, no, que no hacía ni una clase. Pero en mi descanso, hacía las seis clases un solo o las nueve clases un solo que yo iba atrasado. Por eso es que yo preguntaba, hacía la pregunta. Perfecto. En ese caso, pues, me parece excelente. Si tú haces eso, me parece pues, perfecto. Ejemplo. Aquí va a haber una alta variedad. No les voy a decir a todos, miren, hagan tres lecciones y... Si no van a poder, pues, es como que comparar a tus horarios con eh, los horarios de la señorita Eunice. La señorita Eunice es un estudiante. Muy probablemente ella tenga quizás un, un poco más de tiempo que tú. Pueda que tenga menos, porque pueda que lleve las cinco materias y esté en proceso ya de hacer una tesis. Por lo tanto, no puedo venir y exigirle a todos ustedes una cantidad. Lo que sí podemos hacer es procurar finalizar la lección 1 y 2 en la primera semana. Yo procuraré, el día de mañana le vamos a meter mucho, la verdad que sí, mañana al menos procuraremos avanzar eh, pues unas tres, cuatro lecciones para ir cubriendo las que no vimos el día de ahora. Como les dije, quería conocerlos, he visto que todos están disponibles para poder pues estudiar y entre más participemos mejor. Entre más participemos, se nos hará mucho más fácil. Bueno, otra pregunta. Sí. ¿Sí? Eh, dale, Hugo, dale, Hugo. Eh, una pregunta, este, por lo menos en la plataforma anterior, tú, tuvimos, teníamos clases de lunes a viernes. No sé si con este sería lo mismo o sería hasta jueves. Sería hasta jueves. Es, sí, sería hasta jueves que nosotros estaríamos teniendo este tipo de, de clases. Eh, yo sé que pues es bastante pesado para muchos de ustedes y si algunos tienen la disponibilidad de hacerlo día viernes pues eh, pueden reunirse entre ustedes y practicar ustedes son libres de hacerlo ustedes pueden reunirse y comenzar a practicar los topics como han visto en el video de ahora una de las actividades es que nosotros procuremos hacer conversaciones y eso es algo que vamos a hacer mañana Mañana después de hacer el review del Simple Present, también haremos un pequeño review sobre también el Bird to Be. Y pues procuraremos hacer conversaciones sobre el topic que ya vimos el día de ahora, que es los medios de transporte. Pero así eh, haremos. Si ustedes quieren hacer...